Hello out there all my YouTube friends. This is Matthew coming back at you again. I have been gone for quite a long while. Uh, it's probably been eight months, something like that, I guess. I did put up a short video oh, a few months ago, but that uh, unfortunately didn't work out, so I took the video down. But uh, I am coming back at you again. Hope to start making models again full time, uh, putting out regular videos again like I was. I've got everything set up finally now, and uh, you'll have to give me a couple weeks before I really start. Um, I'm getting married this, see, today is Monday, so I'm getting married Saturday, and then we're taking a little vacation, a little honeymoon for about two weeks right after that, and then when I get back, I should be starting to make videos again full time. I do have my own place now. Well, me and, me and my future wife have our own place. Uh, her place, actually, but it'll become mine. Um, so I am able to set things up and set them up the way that I want them set up so that they can stay that way. So I made me a good spray booth. I didn't document it, but if anybody wants any information on it, you know, please feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer whatever you, you need. Um, it didn't cost, but maybe 50 bucks to make. Um, it, it draws tremendous. Oh, it really works good. And I did use a cheap fan. I could have went with a better fan, but it, it's really not needed. And I'll show that to you in a minute and show you what I'm working on. But I just wanted to say hello to all you guys again. I have been watching your videos. Uh, the time I was off, I accumulated somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,500 videos, and there was no way I was going to watch over 3,000 videos, you know, to get caught up. So, unfortunately, I did lose a lot of those, but I have gotten back to watching them regular, and I will continue that and start commenting on some stuff again. But I uh, just wanted to let you know I was back. I'm going to start building again and show you my setup. And then I'll get back to you guys on a regular basis. So here's where we're at. It'll be a little shaky here for a minute, guys. I'm sorry. Here's uh, my new little workbench I've got. Okay, it's set up. I have shelves. On the sides, uh, dog I inherited. More shelves. Have storage on the top. And then here is the spray booth I was talking about. I, as of yet, don't have a light on the inside. A compressor mount on the bottom. This chamber under the the um, you just see my lazy Susan under the pegboard. I've got a furnace, a furnace filter under here, and then down below is the fan. This chamber is completely sealed with caulking. I used 100% uh, clear silicone caulking. The inside chamber, as you can see, is completely sealed, top, bottom, all around. So the only air entering this booth from anywhere is through this opening. And I use the very small hold pegboard. It's kind of like a water hose. When you cut the size of the hole down, it you get more pressure. So if you cut the size of the hole and pegboard down, you will get more draw. And you can already see I've got... I don't know if you can see it or not. I got some black here. I sprayed just two or three little parts for a motor, for the motor I'm working on. And when I pulled the pegboard back up, I already had black all over the filter. So it really draws good. Uh, my on and off switch, here running, is sealed. That's siliconed in place as well. This side is going to be hooked up for the compressor, which is not done yet. But this one's for the fan. The compressor I have run through this remote over here, 
which will turn the compressor on and off. But I'm going to be putting it to this. And for now, I'm using a light that swings around and uh, shines in the booth. Booth that way. The booth is not real big. It's 16 by 20. And I believe this opening here is 14 inches. Now I'll show you around the back side. It's all made out of half inch MDF. I don't have my exhaust on yet. I haven't got finished yet. But there's my exhaust. And my turn the booth on. Sorry I'm shaking guys, this is kind of hard. But you can see I'm really, I'm really drawing some, drawing some air. I'm blowing paper out, so. It's nice and quiet. And here's the side view of my my setup I've got going on now another compressor more parts and pieces and my dog uh, then just a little work area, a little workbench just gotta have your little man area and then over here is going to be my future wife's she's in the sewing so we're still trying to set her up a, an area in the same room so we can both have our hobbies together and work work together. So that's really nice. Uh, TV, VCR, not VCR, DVD player, all that there. And then uh, for a dear friend of mine, asked me to restore some models for him. Well, not models, or diecast. I guess diecast models. Which is these two. So I will be working on those. Uh, if anybody cares to see them, I'll put them up. If not, you know, I won't. But they've both been started. So I have to take them back apart and clean them up. And I have parts soaking over here in the uh, pond. You can see the paint starting to come off. So I got to get those all cleaned up and getting ready to uh, get start working on and there's an old semi it was the uh, rubber duck semi I put together quite some time ago I'm gonna try to restore that and see if I can't get back to some kind of glory so alright guys I believe I've rambled on enough let me get my boot shut off I think I've rambled on enough so uh, Sorry guys, I'm really shaking all over here. But before I go, I will show you what I'm working on. I did promise that. I'm still working on that uh, 67 Plymouth Himikuda. This is going to be my rum runner my for Hall of Moonshine. So I did hinge the trunk so the trunk opens. Opens and closes. I didn't do it the way everybody else does it, I, just, I made like little loop hinges, you can see them. So I didn't have the material and I didn't want to run out. So I used just some wire I had and went in and used the coating that was on the wire for the hinge. And they work, it works really good. Got plenty of, plenty of opening and the trunk will stay, you know, it'll stay open when you, when, wherever you put it. And then I had to make a floor for you know, of course, the inside of the car. So I put a, a stopper on the back so that when you're looking in the back, you're not seeing up under the up under the car, up under the seats and stuff. So got that taken care of. And uh, here's the the motor for it so far. Using uh, uh, Freddy's Maytown Model Shops. Uh, distributors and I do want to get a hold of you Fred Freddie and uh, see if I can't buy some of these distributors from you 
Because I love them. They, they work out tremendous. So, I don't know how well my camera is picking all this stuff up, but I do have another camera sitting to the side here. I was going to try and use, but I can't figure out how it works yet. But here's the, uh, this an HD camera, so hopefully I'll be getting better, better videos sometime soon. So, I will let you guys go for now, and I will get this uploaded, and hopefully be speaking with you guys again real soon. So take care. God bless. Have a good day.